this envelope. Oh my god, I just almost said envelope. I almost said my freaking name was envelope. Anyways, this video is me, Emily, from Painful Hilarity. I am going to be doing new videos for you guys because the last videos that I really did regularly were for a project. My life with chronic pain and I am no longer doing that project though I do have a life with chronic pain if that makes sense. So in this video I'm just going to be talking. That was my concept for the video which in hindsight which is happening right now is pretty much what I do in every single one of my videos. But the concept was to just talk about random crap that comes to mind. So, it's so different and new, I know. It's going to take us forever to get used to. So anyways, how are you guys doing? I've missed you all. I have not been doing well, just to get that out there. That's why I've not been doing videos. My health has been on a this kind of situation, like a downward slope, to put it nicely. Welcome to my pajamas, which you pretty much all see in the rest of my videos. I have some pretty exciting news, so that's good. You know, now that we've gotten that whole, like, horribly sick pill that we all swallow together. I'm getting a puppy! In like so soon! So soon! That's how soon it is. I am getting a poodle puppy and such an attention whore. Bella is getting a brother. How do you feel about it, Bella? How do you feel about getting a brother? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, she's not happy about it. Not happy at all. I'm getting a little poodle, and he's red, and I am naming him Jackson, and he will be called Jax for short. J A X O N J A X. For short, in case you didn't work that through yourself, which I'm sure you did. So, I'm thinking about getting a dog for a really long time. Bella has always been there in my mind, stuck in my mind, that I need to be on this planet to take care of her, and that is something God has gifted me with, and so I am here. But, <laughs> dogs don't live very long. It's uh, cruel and weird and I don't understand the fact that God has made dogs have a short life compared to human beings. And so I wanted to get a dog when Bella was healthy enough to kind of show this new dog the Bella way and also wasn't in the time of her life where she's going to need a lot of my attention and care because I will give her 100% of that. So that would be kind of uh, not fair or not, well, so that would just be cruel to get a dog at that point. Yeah, so I wanted to get a dog when Bella was in between, you know, feeling good and dying. <laughs> I really wasn't looking at poodles. I never even, the thought never questioned, the thought never questioned me. Sometimes the things that come out of my mouth make me want to punch myself in the mouth. So I am getting back on track and telling the story while having fibro fog. So getting on track. You know, you never know what kind of fog it's going to be. It could be that fog that you just never get your way back to that sentence or story or thought that you had. Or it could be that one that just like 
all of a sudden parts and you're like, ah, back to the story. So I never thought about poodles. It's always the latter. Um, but we had been looking for four or five years for a Chihuahua rescue. And you think that would be easier than it was? I am not very critical at all. At one point, I was desperately in love with a dog that I honestly could not tell you what breed it was. And it had one eye and its name was Bruce. And still, oh, I still want that dog. Oh, Bruce. Bruce. I heck cannot tell you how many times I was denied, like denied something didn't work out. The thing that I really want is big on is the weight limit. And so I can't be like getting a huge dog. It needs to be like six, seven pounds at the absolute most because I need to be able to carry it. And with chronic pain, sometimes it's difficult to carry Bella and she's six pounds. So I was freaking out. God wasn't like putting a dog in my path and we were actively trying and it was not happening. That's in two places as well because I spend part of the year in North Carolina and part of the year in Florida. So Florida actually has better prospects for that but it just was not working out. People weren't calling me back. I cannot tell you how many rescue organizations did not call me back. Like what? What is going on? I want to rescue an animal. Why would you not call me back? Even for further, say like, you got a dog in a year, call me back in my contacts. I don't know. I'm not bitter or worked up about it at all anymore, clearly. We were in Florida and we were, it was Valentine's Day and for some strange unusual reason my parents like to spend it with me no like romantic evenings for those kids uh they want to have a day with me so we went to this place that we love in florida near us and we i first of all i lost my shit because there were owls there freaking can you just please just give me a moment and there was a, there was a freaking white owl there, people. A white owl. That was, oh my god, what was it called? It was like pygmy or like little or something. I lost my mind. I actually probably blacked out for a little bit because, oh my gosh, they were just beautiful. So there was like three or four of them and I was taking pictures and like asking questions and talking about them and staring at them like and um so then we walked around and like to me like things don't just happen like it's not just like coincidence and like there were things that had to happen for this experience to come about and Part of that was like how long I took with the owls and took in different directions and going to certain shops and not going to other shops and you know so it just had to ha happen perfectly for the paths to uh, meet that's the word I'm looking for meet um I just had to look in the viewfinder to see that this gesture was not inappropriate. <laughs> but it's not. So, moving on. Um, yeah, so I'm coming out of this place that I got this adorable watch, I might say. And I saw this woman with a tiny dog holding a tiny dog. And... I am one of those people that, like, everywhere we are, if there's a tiny dog, especially a chihuahua, just because that's what I have and what I know and I love, um, I will run up and ask where they got that. Like, there's no, like, conversation. It's just, like, where did you get that dog? Because I was so desperate. And, I, like, I was desperate to the point of, like, going wherever these people are getting a nice dog that they like. 
and it was clear that this woman, you know, really liked this dog. I went up and it was a poodle and she was freaking adorable. I mean, so cute. And her owner, which by the way, I call her, the dog's name is Jewel, and I call her Jewel's mom when I refer to her. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm such a crazy dog person. Like, I caught myself with my mom, and I was just like, Jewel's mom. And then I was like, I feel wait, what should I, like, I knew it was wrong what I was saying, but I couldn't, like, decide what the correct thing to say. Like, I couldn't remember owner. Like, dog, she's Jules' owner. So anyways, Jules' mom, Terry, who was just the sweetest person ever, she gave me all of this information. She gave me all of Jules' information. She gave me the breeder's information. She gave me her information. She was just and nobody I had met, and it had been, I had just run up to a lot of people, um, had done that. Like, people would be like, oh, yeah, I got it, like, out of state. Like, nobody was very concrete about where they got animals, or it was a rescue, like, not from an organization. Like, I found it in a parking lot, and I'm like, oh, great, you know, pff, see you later. No, um, but... She gave me all this information, and then um, we went back to shopping, and then we got held up, and we bought a few things, and then right when we were coming out, I put my hand on my mom's shoulder, and I said, Mom, I'm really serious about this poodle, and right as I said that, Jewel's mom <laughs> and Jewel walk right in front of me again, like in the same direction. And I stopped her and I said, I just told my mom, like, that I'm so serious about contacting Jules Breeder and getting her information and all that stuff. And, um, she was like, oh, yeah, you're a psychopath. And I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> but anyways, so when we got back, we called the woman and she called us right back, gave us a bunch of information. Most of our dogs are rescues. This little one being one of them. I know, right? You can, I, I wouldn't accept five billion dollars for her. Um, so, long story short, it's taken a long time, but it's a bit tiring and emotionally draining because you find out when the puppy's born, you don't know if it's going to survive, because there's a whole bunch of things that can happen in this whole breeder world that we know nothing about. So we went to a second litter and it was just a long process. And then you find out and you think like, oh my gosh, the dog's born, I'm going to get it. No, you have to wait like nine weeks, like seven to nine weeks or something to get this dog. So. It's, it's really hard because you just like want the puppy like in your hands and just don't want to like eat it. Um, which is probably a good thing that they are putting it off because I really want to eat that dog. It's so freaking cute. So I will show you the puppy once I get it. Uh, uh, one thing I didn't mention is that the breeder is in Alabama. So <laughs> that is a 17 hour drive there and back. So, cause, uh, it's summertime and we don't want to put the puppy on an airplane. Um, uh, my friends are doing great. I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. I haven't been doing my hair or anything like that. I don't know what I'm going to do on this channel. I don't know what you guys want from me. I don't know what you guys want me to do. Like, I know that I've done, you know, like MAC products or a MAC makeup for beginners and that was very popular. So... I don't know if you guys want me to do more makeup tutorials. I mean, there aren't very many makeup tutorials on YouTube, so maybe I could kind of like break into that world and like start a whole new thing. <sighs> but no, I do have a lot of experience and knowledge of makeup and hair because I'm a cosmetologist, but uh, 
I don't know if that's what you guys want or if you guys just want to hear about my life and what I'm going through. If you guys want to hear about my chronic illness, you want to hear about how I deal with situations, if you want me to give you advice, if you want me to talk about my dogs, if you want me to just do videos like this. I also have the best stories like ever. I have the funniest stories, especially in my wilder days. Uh, I my one of my hairdressers actually said that she looked forward to our appointments because I had the craziest dating stories she had ever heard. So I know it doesn't look like it, but I can actually do makeup and hair. I know it's hard to believe. <laughs> Oh my god. I know, Bella. I know. And so, to you guys, because I'm not going to say I'll do anything, because uh, some will be annoying, and I just won't want to do them, but uh, I trust you guys, so if you guys put it down, I probably will do the video. Um, haven't done a giveaway in a very long time, so I've been collecting things. She pieced out. Um, and so I could, I'm going to do a giveaway. I don't know when. Cliffhanger. I do a lot of stuff. Like I play games. And I have a game that I play. I have a family. Like there's things that I do to cope with illness. And life in general. I feel like my videos on illness can really. You can really relate to anyone just living life because life is freaking hard and that's that's it I mean I could be on a t-shirt life is freaking hard uh, so yeah so I really am up for anything but I just want to be back and making videos for you guys because I think about your comments about how like watching one of my videos got you through a day or you know, got you past a painful day, and I just want to get back to doing that because it makes me happy to make you guys happy, and if you guys are happy, then I'm happy, and it's just this ring around of happiness that just happens, and I just really like it. So, in the comments down below, let me know what kind of video you want to do, and tell me how you are doing because we have not chatted in a very long time so let me know what you're up to if you would like to see this new journey new channel perhaps um of regular just regular videos of when i choose to post them please subscribe if you like this video i hope you liked this video just like it if you liked this video you don't have to actually hit the thumbs thing. I just hope you like it. But if you want to hit the thumbs thing, you can. If you liked it or disliked it, you know, you do you. I'm not pushing you in any direction. Just subscribe if you want to be a part of this. And also for future giveaways, you have to be subscribed. So you might as well just go ahead and subscribe to the space. I look horrible. Okay. We're not going to get into that right now. I hope you guys are having a pay for each just free day. And I love you guys so, so, so much. X the below's. And I will talk to you hopefully very soon. Bye.